Okay, y'all, already. Hey, y'all, today I'm going to be doing a makeup look based on my curvy shirt that I currently have on and my pink headband. Because I was like, I haven't done pink in a while. I have a pink headband. Let's just match that. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using this palette I got from A Roses by Profusion. I'm going to be using that color right there. And I'm also going to be using this palette by Beauty Treats in this color right here. I got this one from my Burlington. And the other product I'll be using today is this mascara from Aras. It came in a three pack. I put the picture up there. And I'm going to be using it because it's also pink. <laughs> the color of the bottle, not the product, is black. All right, so first I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids, I guess you could say. Put some lighter foundation on my eyelids. And we're going to be doing like a cut crease, I think, today. Yeah, cut crease. I might use all three pinks, like those two pinks and that light pink on the top right there. It just depends. We'll see what I do. And I think I'm going to start with this lighter of the darker two pinks of this palette and see if I like it first by itself. And if not, I'll add the darker pink using my pink brush. I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and darken that up because I imagine if I use this light pink, let's see how that looks real quick before I do it. They kind of look similar. It's not that much lighter, so let's go ahead and darken that up. We're gonna do like a ombre cut crease, I guess you could say. So let's start the top off. Oh, let's just do it like that. This kind of just me winging it. Let's do a half and half. So this half's gonna be dark pink. This half's gonna be medium pink. Then my eyelid is gonna be light pink. So. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the other eye. I'm gonna start out with the lighter pink shade like I did with this eye. can see the half and half going yeah I can see it in real life now too just had to get my colors laid down all right now let me neaten up my eye creases here I might just you know clean that up later all right so we got the pinks down we got the ombre thing going on let me just blend that out a little more All right, ombre pink. All right, now let's use my orange brush and go into this pink for my eyelids. I'm getting makeup on my eyelashes. A very light, very subtle pink. It's there, but it's kind of hard to tell. So what I'm going to do is mix into the lighter pink I used earlier, then mix into it, then bring that out a little bit more. Alright, dust my corners again, touch up wherever it needs to be touched up. 
gonna add a little bit back right here. Okay, and now let's go ahead and put on some mascara so that way I can put on some lash glue to put on some lashes. You can see the difference. That's probably better instead of... All right, so every time I do my makeup, I sneeze. I think it's because the powdery eyeshadow. But I'm back now. I'm about to put my lashes on. Somebody said try putting it on your eye line. So that's what I'm doing today. See how that works? Because I didn't even notice I was doing it until I was like, wait, what am I doing? I don't usually do this. So what I did was first put on mascara, then put glue on my eyelid, my lash line. Got the glue on. Now I'm gonna take my lashes. We're gonna start with this eye first, just because I don't, you know. No particular reason. That tip did make it way much easier to put on my lash because all I had to do was stick it to my eye. Let me go ahead and get the other lash on before the glue dries. All right, I'm still new to putting lashes on. I do not wear lashes all the time. So let me try again with that one. <laughs> Alrighty, that's about the best I'm gonna get. And alrighty, here's the final look. Let me show you my whole uh, get up. I got on my Kirby shirt. I got on my pink headband. Now I have matching makeup. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.